Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dino Crisis 2 for the PlayStation 1. In the last episode, Dylan and Regina, along with uh, a whole fleet of trap members, ended up traveling in time to this world inhabited by dinosaurs to try and rescue a place called Edward City and a military uh, institution that was researching third energy from, well, whatever the hell kind of threats, the prehistoric threats that they were going to contend with while trapped here. And so far, we have yet to really find anybody except for one person that just fled from us. And well, if this uh, water tower area is any indication, it looks like as though the human settlements that was transported in time here has been here for a pretty long time now. How long exactly? I can't really tell you. Anyway, after we arrived here, our uh, entire unit got ambushed by a pack of lost raptors, then later a motherfucking T-Rex. And, well, so far, it's only Dylan and Regina are the, are the only confirmed survivors from that ambush, so... We're... But rather than sticking together, Regina felt like as though she would have been better off just going her own separate way from Dylan here to uh, do God knows what. And well, now I'm pretty much all by my, by my lonesome, fending off pack after pack of Velociraptors. Which I am mostly having a little issue with at present. And that's pretty much everything. So... Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and move past this water tower, and we're going to move our way to the military facility. But first, I'm going to clear out any raptors that I come across the way, because I'm still trying to develop, not develop, but grow, a sizable uh, extinction point wallet here. Passageway to military facility number two. Uh, here they come. Oh shit! Well, that's what I get for uh, just standing there. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here real fast, so. I can just re-enter the room and then just restart my little uh, chain combo thing. Because I'm still trying to get as many uh, no damage bonuses as I can. And I'm sure I said this before in the first episode, but well, no damage bonuses are a, are a definite must if you're playing on hard mode. Because, well, these dinosaurs are a lot harder in hard mode, hence the name. So, also because items in general can be more expensive and you get to carry less of them, so... Everything is pretty much stacked against you in hard mode. More than in hard mode anyway. So it's just a good idea to just uh, rack up as many extinction points as you can. As early as you can. Here of you. Actually, I think I'm going to try to get some blue raptors to show guys I can find. care of them, I think. Now, let's see if any will spawn. There we go. Beautiful. 
helpful. Alright, I'm just going to keep at this until I clear out every single dinosaur in this area. Well, I ended up killing everything in here a lot faster than I expected to. Anyway, now that I don't have to worry about those dinosaurs anymore, let's go ahead and just examine our environment a bit more. Again, I really like how the game looks, all the pre-rendered backgrounds. Some of the best, to me it's the, some of the best pre-rendered backgrounds that you could find on the PS1 era games. Trash materials can be observed from the tear of the tent. Maybe this place was used for field operation exercises. Hell of a lousy place to do that, considering all the velociraptors that were here before I cleared them out. Can't examine those logs, it seems. And here we are, the military facility. Flexes, Dylan. Back for more, huh? You one-eyed menace. It's a motherfucking T-Rex, Dylan. They always come back for more. We need to get the hell out of here. T-Rexes, then, fris then Frisbee shooting bikers. Quite an interesting world that we've landed in, huh, Dylan? Third Energy Development Project symbols on the flag. But seriously, though, I mean, that's kind of, they're kind of ridiculous, honestly, when you really stop to think about it. A couple of biker dudes that shoot that shoots exploding frisbees at you, like that—that that just sounds like something out of a, out of a freaking kids show. The third energy development project symbol and the facility name is carved into it. Third energy research and development city, Edward City, military facility. The roof is destroyed and the steel frame is bent. The door is blocked. You can't go this way. This place also looks like it hasn't been inhabited for quite some time. There is something on the desk covered with dust. You have found a new dinophile. Tyrannosaurus Rex. There is our big and beautiful beauty. Meaning Tyrant Lizard King. Length 14.5 meters. Height 4.8 meters. Observation record. As the name states it well, they are the largest land carnivores of this crustaceous world. They act upon their hunter instinct and are always on the hunt for prey in order to sustain energy for their gigantic body. 
What is so special about them is their implacability. Once they set their eyes on its prey, they have a habit of pursuing it. Pretty much every hunter species ever, for the most part. A soldier once reported that he saw one swimming, trying to follow its prey. Not to mention their savageness. After making a toy of their prey, they will finish it before with a lethal, lethal bite. Excuse me. Combat notes. No reports have come in, come in with regards to killing the T-Rex, which is kind of incredible, because, I mean, you have an entire military force, I'm assuming, ba right behind you, and yet nobody's been able to kill that thing. So, you, so you're all either incredibly incompetent, or, the T -Rex, or it's not an exaggeration when I say that the T-Rex is fucking immortal. Every soldier who tried to kill it have died, or don't you mean has died? There are hardly any. There, there is hardly any combat data. If we were forced to give an indirect conclusion, which you kind of are, really, we would say that the T Rex has no real weakness. Rumor has it that there was one person who escaped from the impla in the implacable T Rex chase. She was not a soldier, but simply an intelligence personnel. Supposedly, good-looking, about 20 years old. Apparently, the words of your exploits from the first game have spread around, Regina. It's a reception desk. It appears as though nobody has sat here for a very long time. Despite the apparent age of this place, we still get power. Now that's clearly the medical wing. Many small supplies are placed in a disorderly manner. It's electronically locked. You may be able to short it with Regina's stun gun. So we'll have to so that pretty much that pretty much tells tells you that you'll have to come back here as Regina at some point. You look dead. The flesh has been ripped from his stomach to his leg. Looks like a few years have passed since his death. We got a little uh, note right here. Doctor's papers, time shift. Again the day has come. January 14th. This is the day when the third energy accident occurred and we were sent to this time. This is the tenth time this day has come. If this note is to be believed, and going by the physical evidence of every single human cell we've come across all, thus far, with how aged everything looks... Yeah! Apparently they've been waiting for us for ten years in this timeline before we were finally able to catch up with them. Kinda of sucks. And every time I feel the same, despair. The medical supplies from the med room have all been has all been used up in the very first year. Have been used up. Again, the the improper grammar is just so distracting to me. Since then, we've been collecting wild plants to make medicine without knowing its effect. Well, that's how medicine was first discovered. Try shit and see what happens. Nevertheless, they were used in healing the wounds of the soldiers. And all we could do was wait for the rescue. Why haven't they come to rescue us? Because time travel is a complicated bitch, apparently. I thought about the question for the past ten years, and I have come to a conclusion. The time shift, or fold, is caused by the overdrive of the third energy. I thought it was called overload. But our current technology level wasn't high enough to recover the accident. Years of technology research still would not be enough. Yeah, but, well, there was a mad scientist out there who felt it was a good idea to pursue it anyway. And I gave him a good punch and kick for his troubles. 
A time error of 10 or 20 years is insignificant to a time slip of 65 million years. But that error, that time difference could mean everything for us. We should have never laid our hands on a toy so dangerous. Yeah, you think? There are large stains of blood. So, ten years have passed since the, the Edward City Settlement has arrived here in this world before we arrived, so... There is pretty much a very good chance that uh, most, if not all, the humans that have arrived here are probably already dead. Because if how vicious these raptors are are any, are any indication, along with God knows whatever kind of dinosaurs live in this place, this world... They'd have a hell of a time trying to fend, trying to defend themselves, even if, you know, they have more than a few large settlements here to fall back into. If their supplies are... I mean, they already used their medical supplies up within the, the first year. General, general medical books and patient records are filed here. Many of the patient's records indicate symptoms never heard of before. Probably because they were using uh, plants here as medicines. Without knowing its effects. But yeah, of course, obviously, we need to find the rest, the rest of the settlements to confirm this for sure, but... Right from the get-go, when you find this place, it really doesn't paint... It really doesn't give you a very good, uh, a very good chance here of finding any... Any, uh, human settlements that are still inhabited, if you ask me. Your chances are pretty low as it is, already. Medical tools are stored here. It seems that all the health recovery aids have been used up. Balls for filing medicine are placed here. They are almost all empty. And we got a key! You got the key plate. Uh, no, I want a key item. It can be used to unlock the electronic lock in the military facility. I like that they reused the uh, save, th save room theme from the first game. I've always liked this theme. He must have been attacked while in his sleep. There are no signs of resistance. Parts of the mattress have been torn by claws, and there are blood stains. Well, it looks to me then that both the doctor and this person here were probably both attacked by the same dinosaur or uh, group of dinosaurs. So let's see what we got here. Nothing new at all whatsoever. Gotcha. So we got this key plate, so we're gonna try to uh, find somewhere out somewhere where we can use it. Oh. We're quite fast enough. Yeah, that's this is something you gotta watch out for whenever you're playing this whenever you get to this segment, because sometimes there is a ram chance that there will be raptors out here that will ambush you. So yeah, just just always be prepared for ambushes. Like so. Come at me, buddy. You almost had me. Not quite. care of them. Rinse and repeat. I 
I think I got them all. So I'm just going back, gonna go back to the medical lab real quick, reload my solid cannon ammo, and then we're gonna move on. thousand points. That's a pretty good number to be at, in general. Alright, we're gonna have to go back out here of this motherfucking T-Rex. But only for a minute. It's a control panel for the shield shutter. It is used for alarming trespassers. A blue light is lit. To operate, you need a key plate. Whoop. Kind of like what we got right here. Nothing happened. This key plate is not to correct one for this terminal. So, multiple key plates. On the shelf are many computers unused. Which models, if you don't mind my asking? I bet mine I bet mine outperforms all of them. Storage room items. All instruments and materials will be transferred to the research facility tomorrow. Starting next month, an extensive experiment will start relating to the time gate. There just aren't enough computers to save all the data. We need as many computers as we can gather. The Time Gate Survival Project has hit against a wall. We hope the experiment will bring about effective measures. Give all research facility keys to Lieutenant Wolf of the transport team today. The key cards are kept in a box in the wall of this room. Approximately 250 people of the soldiers' families have been moved to the living quarters of Edward City last month. Now it's all up to us to revive the Time Gate. So the real question is, were you all successful? This box appears to be used for storing important materials. A red light is lit. Okay, so let's try to keep light here. There we go. You got the research facility key card. You have inserted an incorrect key. Trespasser confirmed. This room will be locked. Okay, number one, if that was the incorrect key, why did it open the safe? And number two, David, da not David, Dylan, why did why'd you stand there like an idiot, letting that thing uh, just rat prattle on until it freaking locked you in? Somebody answer me. David. Regina. Over. This is Regina. Over. Regina, I'm trapped. I'm at the military facility. I need your help. Over. Did you swing your precious machete around? Well, I guess I can help you out. Over. Don't be sassy with me. Good. Okay. I'll put a key in front of the door as a mark. Don't let me down. Over and out. Like, like seriously, I've been actually going around looking for this facility and you've just been sitting on the ship. So don't give me any sass. I've been actually doing shit. Before we actually start doing shit with you, we're going back down here to the ship. Okay, okay I don't see any items down here that we can use. Water is inside. Perhaps it is used for emergency situations. Or... You know, it could just be your drinking water. It is an onboard tank, especially for this ship. Looks like a high performance gun with power. Well, it looks like it. Wait, 
Wait, did I examine these? Fuel for the tank. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go inside here into the cockpit cap cabin. Because there is a little terminal here that we can access. I thought there would be at least one item or weapon I could buy. Still, while I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and uh, add some ammunition to my handgun. Eh, let's make it 700. Why not? Let's save. It's an automatic pilot flying vehicle. There is no destination programmed. It won't start until a destination has been entered. Well, we can't really leave yet until we rescue Dylan. It is the door which leads to the time gate. It is currently locked. So we have our own time gate, which is, well, pretty much how we got here in the first place. So as long as we can find some people and then just bring them to the ship, we, it should be mission accomplished, essentially. Along with uh, finding any uh, information on the third energy project. Okay, this is where uh, we last seen her walk out of from. But if we try to go through here... Look at that! The vines magically reappeared. The IV is wrapped around the door. You may be able to cut with Dylan's machete. So yeah, these uh, electronic lots, locks and uh, these ivy-covered doors are pretty much... are pretty much ways to uh, wall you off from going to certain areas you're not supposed to when you're either playing as Dylan or Regina, which you'll switch between the two periodically throughout the story. There is a little gate here that's blocked. Okay, so the only place we can go through is here. The, IV, the lock has been released. Okay. I think we all know it's walking by. You have found a new dino file. Allosaurus. You look friendly. Meaning odd lizard. Length 8.5 meters. Height 3.0 meters. Observation record. Anyone who encounters this dinosaur will first feel threatened. Well, with something that big, I think anybody in their right mind would feel threatened. Although they're over 8 meters in height, um, you no, you mean you mean length, right? Right? They can easily jump over obstructions which are two meters high. They will not let a prey escape from them. The prey is not limited to herbivores. They also feed on small carnivores. You should look out for the Allosaurus, the Allosaurus in areas where raptors are present. There have been sightings of the Allosaurus hunting in groups. We figure there are quite a number of them. Combat notes. They always position themselves to face their enemy. This is probably because they have a real hard armor on their head. Shooting their head will not really hurt them. A smart way of killing it is to go around to their side and shooting them in the side of their stomach. However, the quick feet makes it difficult to move to their side. If this technique is difficult, you'll have to rely on a weapon with firepower. So we have two methods we can use to fight those things. It's a, it's a water reservoir tank. Looks like the tank is already empty. There he is. If only he knew I was just right above his head. Then I'd be dead. So long, big boy. I'll see you later. 
see anything here, so let's move on. So, uh, an interesting thing to note is that occasionally throughout the game you will find uh, very specific areas in the game's world where no matter how many dinosaurs you kill, no matter how many times you re-enter and kill everything in sight, the dinosaurs will just keep coming back no matter what. And this, and this area I'm in right now is one of them. So, if you're confident in your skills and you got the time and patience for it, you can use areas like this to uh, start farming for uh, a whole bunch of extinction, extinction points. Which I'm going to do towards the end of this episode. Or at least, yeah, I think I'm going to do towards the end of the episode. Oh, hi. Hello. If I'm smart, I'll leave now before I kill enough of these things to spawn blue raptors, because I do not want to take those fuckers on with just a hand. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to work my way through here, and, uh, move on. Ah, crap! Get off! There goes my no damage bonus for this, for this round. Research facility is in this is right ahead. This is another area we'll have to eventually go to as Dylan. You might want to get out of the way. You must be the Allosaur. Missed me! Come after me, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna take this fucker on with just my handgun. How does it feel to get shot in the ass? And apparently he doesn't like it. In fact, he looks kinda pissed. Get down here. You know, instead of 
just roaring your, your rage at me, you'd probably be better off just trying to get to me every time I get out of your way instead of just letting me shoot you. You're not a very bright big wizard, are you? What I like about these things is their bodies stay there after you kill them. At least until you leave the area. And we got a no damage bonus too, which is nice. So over 10,000 rounds of extinction goodness just from that one little count. For those of you who don't feel confident taking on an outsource with just a handgun like I did, you can use a weapon that I'm going to uh, get here very very shortly that's also very effective. I just felt like showing off because why not? That was totally my bad right there. The control shack. Incineration of plants. From recent reports, it appears that in parts of the jungle near the facility, there have been a sudden outbreak of poisonous plants called PP-34. From the body approximately 80 centimeters in diameter, they continue to spout poisonous spores. One of our members who inhaled the spores is in an unconscious critical state. For those of you who are on the medicine plant, sample collecting them. Tempor temporarily stop, temporary stop the collect sample collecting, set up a team to rid of the poisonous plants. Again, the grammar. It's, it's just a downgrade from the first game. Use flame launchers for this emergency operation. When doing so, remember to keep your distance from the target. For a facility that hasn't really seen, probably seen much use in probably years, this place looks pretty well kept. So maybe there is still uh, some people that are uh, that are still around, still that still came here to use this place, at least somewhat recently. On the whiteboard, there is a notice. Computers for data acquisition for the experiment of the experiment will arrive next week from the military facility. Those members who are on the experiment team should contact Lieutenant Wolf. A heavy coat is hanged. It is covered with a thick layer of dust. It appears that coats are unnecessary in this world. Well, the whole place looks like freaking tropical paradise. So, makes sense to me. Personal belongings of the security guards are organized. The cardboard boxes have become soft from absorbing all the moisture in the air. Probably got a nasty case of mold, too. What do we got here? It is a compact server for data control. It must have broken from all the humidity of the room being shut for a long time. Heat and humidity and humidity is bad for electronics, people. Just keep that in mind. The daily logs taken by security guards are scattered everywhere. According to the records, for a while after arrival to this world, there were no dinosaurs seen. But from a few years ago, small-sized dinosaurs started to appear around the area. Since then, it seems as though the experimental activities had decreased. Interesting that there is no dinosaurs to be seen 
for a while after they arrived. Only, but I guess now suddenly, small ones started to appear, and then I guess the others soon followed, which is kind of odd. There are many other items for repair near the toolbox. All right, we got our terminal right there. It's a terminal for controlling all the surveillance cameras in the facility. Okay, a new item has been added. We got a firewall, a single-hand sub-weapon, attack 30, speed 70, and range 90. It creates a wall of fire, enabling you to avert from frontal attacks. So it's a, def it's a defensive weapon, much like my stun gun. I'll definitely take that, and a flame launcher. Launches wide-range blazes, effective on certain kinds of plants. Fire while you walk. Attack 30, speed 70, and range 70. We are definitely going to need this, too. There is a healing item outside, so I won't get anything for that just yet. Let's reload my handgun. Let's... Bring you up... To 900. And as for you... Let's bring you up... To... 330. I don't need... There's... I don't need anything more than that throughout this entire run. Save. If anything, 330 for that weapon is probably overkill. I will at least equip the firewall. I'll hold on to the handgun for now. Entertainment and amusement items are stored here. Magazines, game systems, and protein balls can be observed. Since when is protein balls considered entertainment? Also, what game systems? I'm curious. It, everything on the desk is covered with dust. Daily logs taken by security guards are scattered everywhere. Okay, there's this is the same thing as before. Hey, telephone. Everything on the desk is covered with dust. I think that's everything in this room, so let's move on. Huh? <laughs> it's the Frisbees! Is my line. Listen, young lady. Do this to you, but you've left me no other choice. You okay? She is struggling to get off the handcuffs. She's staring this way with a bullish look. You had no right to be giving me that kind of look, Missy. You're the one that was shooting exploding frisbees at me for no fucking reason. Nobody likes having exploding frisbees shot at them. Not cool. There we 
go. Hmm, only an S kind, huh? There's a jungle on the other side of the bridge. Behind the jungle, there's a missile silo. Yeah, that's the missile silo. It's big and beautiful. Oh shit! You all suck. So, yeah, I'm just gonna clear out these, these uh, bastards before I move on. Already? Ho 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 ho! One of my favorites is already here. Okay, I think that's all of them outside the control shack. So let's get this beauty. Submachine gun. A lightweight a lightweight excuse me. A lightweight weapon held in both hands. Shoot even while running. However, firepower is meager. Yeah, well that's nothing compared to compared to well, being able to wield two of them at once. Okay, I'm good at that. So let's recharge my gun. And my firewall. Hmm. I'll wait until I can get enough points to, uh put at least 6,000 more rounds into the submachine gun. 4,000 bare minimum. Because there's one thing the submachine guns are really good for, it's crowd control when playing as Regina. Ivy. Look at that! It's the freaking uh, pterodact. Uh, it's the pterodons. And I have just the thing for all of you. for crowd control. Thousand points for no for no damage. 
beautiful. And I'm just enough to extend to extend the uh, ammunition of my submachine guns, but I'm gonna clear these assholes out too before I do that. All right, took care of every single one of the Tyrandons in that area where the Allosaurus originally was. Let's reload. And now let's get you some more ammo. Beautiful. I'm already forming quite the armory on myself. So I got flamethrower, I got my firewall, I got some submachine guns, and of course I'm probably stocked on handgun ammunition as well. I am pretty much prepared for most of, most things that will come my way already. And that's a very good feeling to have in this game. So I'm going to just go back to these little areas where the raptors were swarming me. There's one other pathway we can go that will lead us towards these poisonous plants that that file I found earlier was talking about. Oh shit! You son of a bitch! damage bonus here. This area is full of poisonous spores emitted by the poisonous plants. If inhaled, it could be life-threatening. Well, before I go on through this place, I'm going to clear out the raptors outside of here first this specific area, because they'll eventually start to stop swarming here. I can't afford to make any mistakes around these guys. I think I've screwed around for enough for now. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and whip out this bad boy. sign is posted. It reads, Danger. Route closed due to poisonous gases in area. Must wear gas masks to go to the missile silo up ahead. I like how they made it look like up ahead one word. The ladder leads to poisonous gas area. To go down the ladder, a gas mask is needed. So we definitely can't go to the silo for now.
Easy peasy. Door has been unlocked. And looky where we are now. Well, at least we're uh, close behind where Dylan is. Let's go ahead and just recharge my flamethrower. And my um, submachine guns. Nothing new, so first things first. Let's get some recovery items and back in here. Extend my ammo. Ammo. Yeah, that's good enough. So if I were to back, so if I were to backtrack here towards an area I was already at with uh, Dylan, the Raptors will reappear in these areas. So. More frisbees. You know, I'm kind of amazed that that little stun gun of yours didn't break after coming into contact with two of those things. And they've already climbed up the rubble, somehow. They're very nimble, these biker dudes. Get that. Triceratops. Don't mind me, I'm just passing on by. I got an idiot friend here who's too dumb to get out of a walking area in the middle of a lockdown to rescue. Kind of uh, unwanted here. So, I hope you don't mind, but I've got to exterminate you. Hard to get a good, hard to get a good aim on these things here for some reason. Okay, fine. I'll come back and kill you all later. 
by later, I mean literally the next minute. After I get in here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You suck. Resuscitation pack. Yeah, this is this is not gonna work. I'm going. This is a key play which still threw out. You? How you doing? Come on, stop playing around. But I like playing around. It's fun. The shield shutter is in operation. On the other side, the shutter is a shot of a person. A person, not just Dylan. A person. That's mean of you to say, Regina. I hate you too. It's alright. I'll get my revenge on you yet. Hmm. Up oh, there. Now that was just dickish. Just waiting until I moved. Until right in, right to where I would transition to another screen and then jumping me. Smart, but dickish. Usually smart for you. Well, that was uh, annoying. All right, that's your stock. spot for a resuscitation pack. There we go. Suckers are kind of expensive, so it's really... It really would be to your benefit if you don't wind up like getting killed like I did. Otherwise, short of somehow finding one, uh, the one in the environment somewhere, it will cost you a pretty penny. enough grinding in general for now, so let's just go ahead and get Dylan out of his little box. 
after I restock. Whenever you switch to a dual to a two-handed weapon back to a single-hand weapon like your handgun, you'll always default back to your uh, starter sub uh, sub weapon, like in this case with Regina, her stun gun. Every time you do that, so if you had uh, a different sub weapon equipped before switching to a two-handed weapon, just be sure to remember to switch to whatever sub weapon that you uh, want to use before uh, you know you resume combat. Otherwise, you might put yourself in a pretty bad situation. The status of the security system of the facility is shown on a big screen. Most of the lines have been cut. It doesn't seem to be functioning. Pretty cool little computer room, I gotta say. It's a system which manages all the key plates. Only one key plate can be removed at a time from the system. Well, the green one's empty, so now I know which one uh, this was supposed to go to. So the door in front of Dylan's little box is blue, is blue, has a little uh, lock mechanism on it with a blue light. So what we'll need to grab is BL for blue. Now we have what we need to get him out of there. But before we go over there, I want to stop up here real fast. The head of this room probably sat in the seat. Many terminals are set here. Probably used for receiving reports from the other facilities, most likely. Management of key plates. This is a notification that now all facility keys will be managed in this control room. The colors of the lock terminals correspond to the colors of the key. Matching the colors of the keys and the terminals will release the security lock. Due, due to security reasons, only one key can be removed at a time. Also, the keys' electronic information is reprogrammed each week. For this reason, always return the key to, to the key control system after use. Documents are scattered. According to soldiers' death records, soldier, soldier counts have decreased to a third in just one year's time. From uh, how long ago exactly? Because you've all been here for at least a decade, so... I need, more, I need something more specific, or be impressed by those statistics. Alright Dylan, I've kept you waiting long enough. Let's go get you out of there. Thank you for even being patient with me. Took you so long. So much for being patient. Nice to see you too. You owe me one. I found a young female survivor. You have no room to complain. You've been nothing but rude to him since you got but here, she Regina. Was uncooperative. I locked her up in the control shack. I'll take her back to the ship. You go on ahead. I'll meet you there. Regina has returned to the patrol ship with the girl. At least they were kind enough not to force us to backtrack to go get her and then go all the way back to the <sighs> ship. Just Try to relax. You remove the cuffs on her, why? What is wrong with you? You're a survivor, right? Please, we're here to help. What's your name? Where are all the others? Where's your family? Regina, you better... You better come and see this. Who 
Blue trashed the place. It was. It wasn't dinosaurs. Someone must have got in here and destroyed all the computers. I thought this door was locked. The activator for the gate is broken too. We can't get back to our own time. It must have been those people with the helmets. They also damaged the engine activator. We can't even move our ship. Okay. We'll have to look for something in this world in order to get us back to our original time. And we have to find parts for the ship, too. Hey! Before you go, handcuff the girl so she won't run away. There's a facility we haven't gone to yet. You gotta check it out. Right. Way to go from bad to worse regarding our overall situation, wouldn't you say? Calm down. I'm here to help you. Just calm down. Look, I have to make sure you don't escape. Trust me. So, uh, Miss it, Missy, what's, uh... What's got you, uh, so, um, curious? What are you doing? Stop it. What's the matter? Somehow I don't think she can really articulate to you what's the problem, Dylan. All she can do is touch. Her eyes are trying to tell something to him. No, really? Must be this PS1 era character model graphics here that just makes it hard for me to tell. Alright, what do we got here? A new item. We got a heavy blade. An alloy blade which will increase the power of Dylan's machete. Okay. We're good on that. I think I'll go ahead and add another hundred rounds to my solid cannon just for the just for the hell of it. Okay, let's take a look at my machete. Machete improved. Attack fifty. Machete with a hev the heavy blade it has increased cutting power. So, it'll be a more useful weapon than it was starting out. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut things off here. We can uh, we can uh, go to this facility that uh, we haven't checked out yet that Regina told us about. Specifically, the one that uh, is right in front of the control shack with the ivy-covered door that I stopped by. The one that was right next to that missile silo. That's where I gotta go next. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Dawn Crisis 2. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care.